Terima kasih Ibu Mega, Pak Bagus, dan Pak Reno atas penjelasan dan pengenalan Google Cloud for Publishers. Sekarang ke produk penting lainnya yaitu AdSense. Untuk itu telah hadir bersama kita saat ini Wen Jefeng, the Head of Publisher Monetization di Asia Tenggara. Over to you, Wen Jeff. Thanks, Jason. My friend and the fellow Googler, Emily, is passionate about healthy skincare products. I go to her for skincare advice tailored for my needs. She also has a talent for writing. In 2015, she started reviewing different brands and launched a website to share her passion for beauty and cosmetic products. Gradually, she built up a small following and the traffic to her site has grown to hundreds of page views per day. Emily learned about Essence, which is designed to help publishers like her to make money from their websites. She signed up for the Essence program and implemented some pieces of code on her website, which is relatively easy, but she did have to wait for nearly two months before her AdSense account was approved. Why? The Google AdSense team has to verify her identity, address, and the content before approving her account. Soon thereafter, she was able to start making money using AdSense. My name is Wen Jia Fang, and I've had the honor of leading the publisher monetization team in Southeast Asia for the past eight years. I'm here today to talk about AdSense, one of our ads monetization solutions, and our, our approach to fight clickbait on Google's properties like search and the news. Globally, there are about 2 million publishers, content creators, and bloggers using AdSense. And like Emily, they have a desire to write and share some knowledge they know to the world. Your content is good, you will attract people to follow your content. If your content is read by many, it will gradually rise in Google's search ranking and attract more readers. Once you have enough page views, you can choose to monetize your website with advertisement. And AdSense is one of those technologies that automatically match ads with publisher website. For example, in Emily's case, because her content is all about different skincare products, tips, and routines, AdSense will likely match a skincare-related ad to her website, like the retailer Sephora. If someone reading Emily's blog found the ad interesting, they might click on the ad and be taken to Sephora's website. AdSense will then calculate how much Sephora has to pay for that click and pass the AdSense revenue to Emily. For publishers, content creators and bloggers like Emily, AdSense is an easy way to monetize their sites, allowing them to focus on the content development. In 2021, well-known Indonesian news sites accounted for the majority of AdSense business in Indonesia. AdSense is developed to protect the open web. In this ecosystem, there are three players, publishers, advertisers, and the internet users who consume the content. Google has built technologies and the mechanisms to minimize abuse and foster a healthy and viable ecosystem. Our systems continue to evolve and detect emerging fraud and bad ad experience. Let's take a look at the role of advertisers here. They're the ones funding the open web. Google has a responsibility to ensure that the publishers and content creators approved to use AdSense programs are legitimate. We want to optimize their content and make sure it attracts the kind of users advertisers want to attract. Emily waited for more than two months before her AdSense account was approved. And this is part of the vetting and the verification process to ensure that the publishers allowed into the ecosystem are producing legitimate content, following copyright laws, and providing good site navigation along with stable and quality traffic. 
Starting in 2017, we began to review sites at the page level to protect advertisers from displaying their ads on harmful content. In 2020, we took action on 168 million pages and demonetized them under our policies against dangerous and violent content. What is clickbait? Clickbait refers to a website that uses sensational topics and a keyword to attract attention and encourage visitors to click on the link. Some websites even have more ads than content. They put in a lot of links and hope that the user will accidentally click on one of them and be led to a different website for which the publisher will get paid. Ultimately, websites use clickbaits are trying to scam advertisers. Adsense and our team around the globe have to fight these bad actors. Our content responsibility team regularly review and identify websites which insert irrelevant keywords, have more ads than content, have deceptive layouts that encourage users to click on promotional materials. We also regularly review these accounts and terminate those which no longer abide Google's content policies for traffic quality. In 2020, we removed ads from 1.3 billion web pages in our publisher network for violating our policies. The second pillar in the open web ecosystem is the user. Google wants to keep users away from inappropriate content and a bad user experience. To do so, we offer tools to help both individuals and the publishers to give direct feedback to our team. Individuals can ask for sensitive content to be removed from a site. We also offer tools to re report phishing pages or remove personal information or to flag an image of a minor. The third pillar in our ecosystem is publishers and content creators. They produce a lot of content for the open web and help users find authoritative and credible information on the internet. AdSense has adapted over the years to protect the publishers in our network. Publishers do not want their content to be copied by other sites, so we provide a legal troubleshooter form on the AdSense help page where publishers can report any abuse of copyrighted content. In 2019, we strengthened AdSense to identify sites with potentially high risk of activity, including misrepresentative content, violation of intellectual property rights, and invalid traffic. AdSense also goes extra mile to verify the legitimacy of publishers before they're even allowed to monetize. To do so, we ask publishers to claim ownership to their site. AdSense would place its ad serving limit on accounts while we evaluate their content quality and traffic quality. This can take weeks. Problematic publishers will continue to experience these ads limit. And if they do not make the required changes, they will eventually be suspended altogether. As you can see, Google's ultimate goal is to ensure we have an open, healthy, and a sustainable ecosystem. Our goal is to reward quality content and quality journalism on our platforms. In addition to AdSense, Google has developed many tools to help publishers to build reader trust and the sustainable digital businesses. One example is real-time content insight called RCI. This tool enables you to identify in real time which articles and the videos are the most popular with your readers, along with broader topics trending in your region. News partners have told me that this tool has been invaluable for making data-driven decisions about content development. And this tool is free. 
we encourage you to try it to boost reader engagement and reach new users. In addition to some of the largest news publishers we support, AdSense also plays an important role in funding millions of small publishers and content creators like Emily. Many of them are able to make a living from AdSense. In Indonesia, many small publishers are already monetizing with AdSense and seeing impressive results. After joining the local news foundry program, Maluku Turkini saw their revenue increase by 132% two months after they optimized their sites for monetization. Metro 7 saw their revenue increase by 60%, and Yulasan saw their revenue increase by 43%. As for Emily, she still enjoys writing on her blog, but she isn't making enough from AdSense to quit her full time job at Google. At least, not yet. Thank you, and now back to you, Jason.